Farm Insurance agent Tony Wilk, First Mid Bank and Trust, Full Power Auto and Motorsports Group in Nashville, and also by the Medicine Shop, Country Financial Agent Josh Finley, the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, Roy Schmidt Honda of Effingham, Landers Collision Centers in Mount Vernon and Salem, King City Chrysler Center, and People's National Bank. We take you to the SSM Health Broadcast booth for the Landers Collision Center's free game show. Mount Vernon Rams basketball starts now. On the road in Effingham tonight, it is the last of three games for the Mount Vernon Rams at all levels. It's varsity basketball for the Mount Vernon Rams and the Effingham Flaming Hearts. Good evening here. I'm Chris Hugo. Tom Porter's alongside. Connor McDaniel back at the Mount Vernon studio. Jeff Crow is with us in the SSM Health broadcast booth. Where tonight, the Mount Vernon Rams at 14-9 battle a 13-12 Effingham team. And Tom, one they've seen before, and it didn't end too well. Yeah, they beat us last time, obviously, at the Salem Invitational. So a little revenge on our minds. It's going to be a little different, obviously, for us. We'll talk about it later with having our leading scorer out with, for tonight and possibly for the rest of the year in a mere span. So they're going to have to make some adjustments there as far as the offense we run and how we go about things. So we'll see what adjustments Coach Creel makes. But it's going to be a tough game, always a difficult place to play on a Tuesday night. We'll see how things go as the game progresses. Well, for the Rams, of course, that was in the Salem tournament. So much has happened since then for this Ram team, including a tough loss on Friday night. They lost to the Central Orphans in conference play, a game in which the Rams were more than likely favored. They lost 50-46, to so it was closer at the end probably than some had anticipated. But, Tom, really, for the Rams here tonight on this Landers Collision Center's pregame show, big or small, Landers fixes the ball. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight. Landers, but tonight for the Mountford and Rams, even tougher environment. You play this Effingham team on a neutral court. You just lose to your rival not long ago. Not a lot of time to shake that off. You're in the opponent's territory, a place where you've struggled in the past anyway, and so really I could boo-hoo all night for this Ram team also without leading scorer Amir Span. Yeah, it's a tall order tonight, obviously, to coming up here and playing a pretty good Effingham basketball team, one that's improved greatly since the beginning of the year. Looks like they're getting into kind of a little bit more of a you know, rhythm offense like they used to do with Coach Reed. So I think this is going to be a very difficult game for us tonight, trying to adjust without a mere span and playing a pretty tough opponent with a really good player in Mr. Wolf. And we'll talk about him as, we, as well a little bit later on. Certainly will. We need to take a quick break on our Landers Collision Center's pregame show. This is Ranch Basketball powered by Community First Bank. It's banking, but at the speed of you. Coming soon in 2019, online mortgage applications, mobile deposit for your checks, and a super easy way to pay someone with a program called Pay Someone. Plus, you're going to love Community First Bank's new website coming soon. It's cfbh.bank. It'll be mobile-friendly and packed with all the latest and easiest ways to bank. Yes, getting better every day. It's banking at the speed of you at Community First Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Limited. Soar into a new industry or make strides in your current one with a drone certificate from Rin Lake College. This innovative program offers top-notch instruction to fly unmanned aircraft systems in many industries, including agriculture, criminal justice, videography, and more. Just three classes taken two nights a week can get you in the air and prepare to become a certified drone pilot through the FAA. For more info, call 618-437-5321, extension 1261, or visit rlc.edu. Rin Lake College, your journey starts here. Emergencies can happen anytime, anywhere. That's why for every... Look, Mom, no hands! For every... Ah, uh, who needs a ladder? And even for every... Sue, my chest hurts. Crossroads Community Hospital is here for you. With skilled physicians, experienced nurses, advanced medical technology, and the compassionate care you deserve. Choose emergency care you can trust. Hey, guys, watch this. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. When you are searching for a vehicle, you are probably looking at Honda. With 11 models to choose from, Honda offers a vehicle to fit all your needs. Honda is long known for its quality and reliability, and with well over 250 million vehicles built in America, with locally sourced parts from factories right here in our area, you know you are supporting friends and neighbors when you choose Honda. Comfort is very important while driving or riding. Honda utilizes the highest quality materials so every passenger is comfortable for the long haul. When it comes to affordability, Honda is one of the lowest cost to own vehicles on the road. So how about a Honda? 
Drive yours right here at Royceman Honda in Effingham and online at RoycemanHonda.com or give us a call at 217-342-8600. Hi, Eric Lade with One Stop Flooring America here with a big announcement. One Stop Flooring America is partnered with Benjamin Moore to bring their award-winning paint back to the Mount Vernon area. Painters, contractors, maintenance accounts, and homeowners who grew up buying and using Benjamin Moore paint are all invited to stop in to see the latest products, colors, and programs that are guaranteed to make you say, Welcome back, Benjamin Moore. We missed you. Benjamin Moore is back at One Stop Flooring America, 318 South 10th Street, Mount Vernon, 242-5712. Your home for the Mount Vernon Rams is WMIX Sports, powered by Community First Bank. 94.1 FM or worldwide, we have streaming video at WMIXSports.com. With John Porter, I'm Chris Hugo on this Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Effingham Hearts are 13-12 and 12 here on the season as they come in to tonight's action. They are 6-4 and four in Apollo Conference play. And, of course, we will find out postseason futures this week. The Mountford and Rams and Effingham Hearts alike, amongst other 3A and 4A teams, will find out their seats on Thursday. They'll find out where they're headed on Friday. For Effingham, still games with Mattoon, Modern Day, and Taylorville to be had. For the Rams, they have Effingham here tonight. They return home on Friday and Saturday for Altsoff and Heron, respectively. Another game on the 19th, a week from now at home against Cahokia and a makeup. And then finish the regular season the following Friday on the road at Cahokia. So Cahokia twice in a week, but before we get into any of that and question that, the Rams tonight against Effingham. And, of course, an Effingham team, we talked about it briefly. A team they played at the Salem Invitational Tournament. Of course, that sent the Rams into the consolation bracket. But you feel like tonight, we'll get into our keys to the game a little bit later. You feel like tonight the road will still run through the Wolf family. They combined for 28 the last time these two teams got together. Yeah, Landon Wolf was kind of a little bit more dominant in the first half. And then his brother... Parker Wolf picked it up in the second half. So like you said, they're a one-two combination. That was a little too much for the Rams to overcome. It was a close basketball game, obviously. Could have went either way, but they were able to pull through. So like you said, we'll talk about some keys to the game. But I think you really have to try to limit Landon Wolf's touches if you can. Keep him off the free throw line. See if you can limit him to about 15, 20 points. And you got a shot at this one here on the road. Well, the Rams indeed are on the road tonight. 14-9 and nine now on the year after the loss Friday night to Centralia. But you think back to a Ram team that started 9-1, and 5-8 and eight in their last 13 games. Tom Porter, probably not the way they saw this going. But a Ram team that's still five games above 500. Big conference matchup on Friday when they return home. And really, you kind of wonder if a home sweet home trip for three straight will help, regardless of what happens tonight. Yeah, it sure can't hurt, that's for sure. And the only problem with all those games we got coming up was we don't have a lot of practice time. And like I said, you got a lot of adjustments you have to make with your primary score, your primary ball handler out of the basketball game. Look for Mount Vernon to get in a little bit more of a rhythm offense, more of a screen type of offense and not so much of a dribble drive possibly with the mirror being out of the game so adjustments are going to need to be made but being at home will definitely be a big advantage in the last three games uh, out of four like you said coming up we need to take a quick break when we come back we'll talk more about this one on your landers collision center's pregame show bigger small landers fixes them all call 1-888-LANDERS that's one triple eight landers this is Rams basketball from wmix sports if you're looking for a new doctor, look no further than the new SSM Health Provider Finder. Search for physicians online based on conditions and treatments, name spellings and pronunciations, and locations near you. What's more, SSM Health doctors are known for taking the time to listen and connect with you. We call this the healing power of presence. You'll find this helpful tool at ssmhealth.com doctors. This is Chase Landers with Landers Towing and Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem, your ICAR Gold Class Collision Repair Professionals. So what exactly does ICAR certified mean? It means that after an accident, you can rest easy knowing your vehicle is in good hands. It means we'll do a complete diagnostic scan on vehicles before the repairs are started and after they're completed to ensure that all electrical equipment and components are working properly. And it means that your vehicle will be repaired using state-of-the-art measuring technology that gets us within one millimeter of the vehicle manufacturer recommended specifications. Whether your vehicle is made of 6,000 series aluminum alloy or ultra high strength steel structures, we have the latest technology to complete the repairs required. 
And now, you can receive a repair estimate from us without ever leaving the comfort of your home and office. Just ask us about our new mobile app. Let us show you why Landers is the most qualified collision repair experts in the area. Landers Tony and Collision Centers in Mount Vernon and Salem. Just give us a call. 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. The temperatures outside are down, but our CD rates are up. People's National Bank is offering two great winter CD specials, a 13-month CD at 1.75% APY and a 25-month CD at 2.25% APY. So find your stocking cap and gloves and stop by to open a 13-month CD at 1.75% APY or a 25-month CD at 2.25% APY today. People's National Bank member FDIC, annual percentage yield accurate as of January 15, 2019. $500 to open and obtain APY. Jones Pizza in Mount Vernon is known for their outstanding, real Chicago-style pizza and pasta. Dine in or carry out. But did you know that Joe's offers catering? Yes, Joe's Pizza caters everything, no matter the size. But better yet, their prices are just as appealing as their menu selections. Appetizers, salads, pasta, and Alfredo specials. And oven-baked specialties like mastacholi, lasagna, even eggplant parmesan. Just remember, Joe's Pizza caters everything. Call Joe's today to find out more. 242-2600. Follow us on social media at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball. 94.1 FM worldwide at WMIXSports.com. Chris, you go, Tom Pointer alongside Connor McDaniel back at the Mount Vernon studio tonight. Jeff Crow is with us in the SSM Health broadcast booth. Quick updates. The freshmen get a win here. It's a triple header night. Freshmen get a win earlier, 53-37 over the hearts. JV stays undefeated. With their own win against Effingham, somewhere in the neighborhood of 13 points. They took it off the scoreboard before I could write it down. And now the Rams try to make it three against Effingham. Though, with how it went before, not a guarantee. But we'll find out how they can win the keys to game again coming up a little bit later on. Somber news out of the high school sports world. Lady Rams season comes to an end tonight. A valiant effort against Benton at Rich Heron Gymnasium in a regional semifinal. But the Lady Rams effort is just short. They fall 57, or excuse me, 51 to 37. That scoreboard update sponsored by Tony Wilt, your State Farm agent of Mount Vernon. Find him online at TonyWilt.com. He would love to help your family with all their insurance needs. You can also look for that white State Farm Jeep around town. Again, the Lady Rams fall to Benton tonight, 51 to 37. Their season comes to an end. The Rams hope their season will continue. Of course, obviously still four games left in the regular season. They played 23 so far. He can play up to 31. They'll get about 27, 28 in, and then head to the postseason. And, Tom, I know this is the kind of game, if you get a win here tonight after having lost to them, the seeds are due tomorrow. They'll be released on Thursday. This could be the kind of statement win that maybe gets you a little bit higher in the seeds. Again, after fourth, after one through four, it really doesn't matter. Right. But maybe this is the type of game that can elevate you. No, you're exactly right. You, you know, this is a game that you need to get on the road and kind of erase that loss you had at the same Invitational and see if you can't avoid a play-in game, possibly in the first part of the regional, and get a higher seed, like you said. You know, after the first four, it doesn't make a big difference, but you know, a win here tonight would go a long way for the Rams, no doubt, in the seeding coming up here in the next few days. Yeah, most certainly will. And, of course, Landers Collision Centers has highly dedicated iCar Gold Class certified repair technicians in Mount Vernon and Salem. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight. landers The Rams and the Flaming Hearts tonight here on the road in Effingham. One of those pregames that just never dies. They put 20 minutes on the clock prior to the game. They had some dancers with the clock stopped. Effingham finally came out on the floor. Then the Rams, we know we'll have the national anthem coming up in about four minutes here from Effingham County. And, Tom, you've coached here. You've watched the Rams here. It's not an easy place to play. No, it's always been difficult for us. Obviously, we did win a regional here. You know, Coach Creel's first year back coaching over the Centralia Orphans, so that was a good experience. But in general, this has been a difficult place to play. A lot of it has to do with your opponent, quite frankly. And They were so well coached with Coach Reed. I always felt like he was one of the top coaches in Southern Illinois and a really difficult guy to prepare for. And I think they're kind of getting back into that mode again now with their coach they have currently. So, uh, you know, just not just the atmosphere. You know, it's not a greatest atmosphere, especially when we're playing them on Tuesday nights during the week in a non-conference game. But your opponent has a lot to do with the fact that we haven't had a whole lot of success in this gym over the years. Absolutely. And, of course, OB Farmer takes over. We really didn't talk about this at the Salem tournament. Rim Woodruff had resigned after a slow start to the year, 3-6 and six or somewhere in that neighborhood. It wasn't 
what Effingham was used to. And now right. Obi Farmer, his first year as an assistant. Uh, the Westland grad who had been at Martinsville, if memory serves correctly, he takes over mid-year and has done a pretty good job. Yeah, he's done a really good job. And they've changed the way they played. I remember watching them last year, and I just couldn't believe, quite frankly, I don't mean to come down on anybody, but the way they were playing, they were pretty erratic. And, you know, they took a lot of quick shots, and that was just something you're just not so used to watching when you watch the Effingham Flaming Hearts over the years of Coach Reed. And I think he's getting back into the – Kind of the pattern offense they run. They try to run you through a lot of down screen, up screen stuff and get guys open that way. And they do run a good system and they have a couple of prolific scores. So they're a tough basketball team, no doubt. Keys to the game tonight, sponsored by Muck and Toyota, Buick GMC. Peace of mind comes standard to Muck and Toyota. With the Toyota Care Plan, you're covered with maintenance and roadside assistance for two years or 25,000 miles. Find out more at Muck and Toyota in Mount Vernon. Tom, what are some keys tonight? The number one key is limit Landon Wolf, and that's easier said than done. But what you need to do with him is make him shoot from the perimeter and beat you from the three-point line. If he takes more than five three-point shots tonight, I think Mount Vernon's doing a good job defensively. If he takes eight to ten free throws, I think he's doing what he wants. So you got to try to limit his looks as best you can and make him beat you from the perimeter. The number two uh, key, I think, is everybody's going to have to step up. Obviously, you're losing your leading scorer, your leading rebounder. Weston Brockhouse has become more of a primary scorer for this team now, but everybody's going to have to pitch in. One guy certainly isn't going to replace from here span. Everybody has to do just a little bit extra. And the last one is rebound the basketball, especially with the mirror being out, as we said already. I hate to keep laboring the fact, but you're losing a dynamic athlete, especially on the rebounding, so everybody's going to have to pitch in on the rebounding, including the guards, to limit them to one possession if possible. See if you can't get out of here with a victory, obviously, with those three keys to the game. Well, no doubt. Of course, Amir Spann in that loss had 15, I believe. May have fouled out in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I believe you're right. Yep. If memory serves correct. Charge we'll have to. Call, I believe. Yeah. Late. And so ended up fouling out there. Didn't see the overtime period or maybe my stats just bled into overtime. My book got sloppy that particular night. No, but you're all, correct. All in all, Effingham pulled away with the win. Visit Munkin online to check out their service department, special offers, and a complete line of new and pre-owned inventory. Find exactly what you're looking for at Munkin Toyota Mount Vernon. .com. Rams Basketball on your radio, sponsored by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Banking at the speed of you. Community First Bank continually evolves because of you. Always get always dedicated to new products and technology to better your banking experience. Community First Bank, banking at the speed of you. We'll have the Josh Finley Country Financial starting lineups coming up. In just a moment, of course, they will have the color guard out here, and we will pause before they leave or until after they leave the floor after the national anthem. We'll go ahead and step aside. We'll honor America. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Soar into a new industry or make strides in your current one with a drone certificate from Rin Lake College. This innovative program offers top-notch instruction to fly unmanned aircraft systems in many industries, including agriculture, criminal justice, videography, and more. Just three classes taken two nights a week can get you in the air and prepare to become a certified drone pilot through the FAA. For more info, call 618-437-5321, extension 1261, or visit rlc.edu. Rin Lake College, your journey starts here. Ram has done it again. The all-new Ram has been named Motor Trend Truck of the Year for 2019. For a great selection of the all-new Ram truck, look no further than King City Chrysler Center in Mount Vernon. Hi, Roy Schmidt. Now is the time to save on your new Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 model. Own a 19 with a list price of $48,025 for just $38,975. Or a new 19 Laramie Edition Crew Cab 4x4 with a list of $53,365 for only $43,000. 378. That's $10,000 of savings on your new 19 Ram truck. Save even more on all remaining 18 Bighorn models. Do yourself a favor and stop in and take a drive in the all new 2019 Ram and see for yourself why it is Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. Right here at King City Chrysler Center, 603 Broadway in Mount Vernon and online at kingcitychrysler.com or give us a call at 618-242-6600. 
Building relationships, supporting the community, and service. These are things Country Financial stands for. We're neighbors who lend a helping hand and support the fabric of our community, including charitable organizations, sports, financial education, and civic organizations. Since we're already neighbors, we'd like to invite you to a celebration of community Saturday, February 16th at the historic Granada Theater. We will hear live music by Mount Vernon's very own Alexander Rui and light hors d'oeuvres provided by Giro's Mexican Restaurant. I'm Country Financial Representative Josh Finley, and we look forward to seeing you. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. 94.1 FM worldwide at WMIXSports.com. Tonight, Chris Hugo, Tom Pointer alongside. It's the Mount Vernon Rams on the road here in Effingham. We owe you starting lineups presented by Josh Finley at Country Financial. Call him today to talk about how he can help ensure that the future you're dreaming of is something you can proudly own no matter what it looks like. To help protect what matters most, call Josh Finley from Country Financial, 242-4024. Tom Porter has tonight's starters. First for the visiting Rams, a 6'1 junior guard, number two, Jackson Creel. 6'1 senior guard, number 22, Lucas Cooper. 6'6 senior center, number 25, Weston Brockhouse. Filling in for Amir Span, a 6'2 sophomore guard, number 10, Carson Pro, and a 6'4 junior forward, number 30, Simon Wilson. For the home team, the Effingham Flaming Hearts, a 6'0 sophomore guard, number 14, Parker Wolf. 6'1 sophomore guard, number 21, Drew Thompson. 6'4 sophomore forward, and number 30, Nate Thompson. 6'3 sophomore forward, number 35, Jacob Stoneburner. And a 6'5 senior guard at number 15, Landon Wolf. Starting lineup tonight and every night, sponsored by Josh Finley at Country Financial. Learn more about protection for the things in your life that matter most and get started on a plan for a comfortable future. Contact Josh Finley today at Country Financial, 242 4 A new look for the Mount Vernon Rams tonight. Amir Span out due to injury. Carson Pro starting in his place. And again, not to harp too much on that, but you lose your leading scorer. And that's big news. But this is the type of game where you might see the guys rally in its place and maybe the start of something good. Yeah, I think, like I said, everybody needs to step up their game a little bit. You're not going to replace them with one guy. But everybody has to do their job, pick up their game just a little bit. And I kind of hesitated when I was doing Effingham starting line, but I noticed that Cole Marksman, the 6'8 senior center, is not playing. I see him down there in warm up, so obviously he has an injury. So they're playing a little bit shorthanded as well. Effingham will be dressed in their home whites. The Rams will be dressed in those away orange tonight here on the road. Non-conference play. The Rams are back at home on Friday. If you want to come out and see your team, enjoy some of Marvo's famous popcorn at the concession stand. It will be a 6-15 JV start. You can see your undefeated JV. Watch the outs off and Rams varsity game as well. If you can't make it, you can listen right here or watch online at WMIXSports.com. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo with a call of this one on WMIXFM. Yeah, I think Friday night's game as well is a blackout game, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. So that's always kind of fun, and I think we usually get a pretty good crowd. And that's obviously going to be a game that uh, hopefully keeps us alive in the South 7. But that's a few days away. Tonight's business is what was at hand. and see if we can't get a good victory on the road here at Effingham. We shall see. Weston Brockhouse will jump center for the Mount Vernon Ranch. We thought we'd get a nice start tonight. The JV game did not go running clock, but the freshman game was over in time for a 6-15 JV start. However, nobody seems to want this one to begin. Same thing we went through Friday. That's two in a row. Man, oh, man. Derek Moore with the, t with the jump about to throw it up, and there it is. It'll be in the backcourt. Now the front. I don't even know. Tipped all over the place. Effingham comes up with it. Drew Thompson with it up top. Five seconds into this one. No score. Effingham starts to the basketball. The home team out of the Apollo Conference. Now the southernmost team. Far wing for the Hearts. Parker Wolf looks inside. Goes short corner for Landon Wolf. Finally a senior. He'll try to cross over against Brockhouse. Go baseline. Now to Parker Wolf. Left wing three on the way. No good. Rebound to go to Simon Wilson. Yeah, good defense by the Rams. Forcing him into a kind of a force three by Parker Wolf there. Good first start for the Rams on the defensive end. Rams will need big things out of Simon tonight. He'll cut back, and now left wing, it'll be to Cooper. Between the circles, Creel back to the right sideline for Simon, now up top for Pro. Looks left wing for Creel, 7-15 mark of the first quarter, no score. Simon wants a three from up top, no good, rebound. 
Ends up in the hands of Thompson. He'll meet a double team trap and give it up to Parker Wolf. Wolf across the timeline, throws to the right side for Stoneburner, gets it back up top. Parker Wolf now Landon Wolf off of the wing, looks inside there, gets it right back from Nate Thompson. A couple of Thompson, a couple of Wolves, and now a three on the way from Parker Wolf is good. We have our first points of the night. It's three nothing nothing him. Yeah, good pass by his brother Landon. Went baseline. Mount Vernon cut that off. Skip pass to the corner for the open look for Parker Wolf. 3-0 early going Effingham. Right block inside. That's It'll be si or excuse me, Weston Brockhouse to the bucket. He's fouled from behind. He'll get the layup and the foul. He'll go to the line. Three-point play, 3-2. Three I to have two. no idea what the official standing two feet away was not going to call that call. I, was, I could see that from up here in the stratosphere. Three-point play by West. Tied at three, 638 mark of the first quarter. Rams and Effingham here. It's a road game on a Tuesday for Mount Vernon. Right wing, it's through Thompson with the basketball. Now to Landon Wolf up top. Looks left wing for Parker Wolf. He has the offense for Effingham so far. He'll look back left side for Stoneburner. 6.22 to go in the first. Video streaming presented by Red Lake College. Log on to rlc.edu. See how you can save thousands on your collegiate education. Parker Wolf off the sideline, throwing into the corner for Landon Wolf. Tries for a ball fake against Cooper. Pushes off. Jumper on the way is off the back of the iron. Rebound will go to Brockhouse. We're tied at three. 6.05 to go in the first, and the Rams will march into the front court. Good job by Coop keeping it in front of him. Like you said, took a little bit of a body hit. Back cut by Jackson for the layup. Nice move by Jackson Creel. Good Gives set the Rams a lead. There. Yeah, good set play by the Rams. Kind of looking like they're going to dribble the opposite side, and then you get a back cut for the layup. Throw to the outside for the Effingham Hearts. That was Nate Thompson with a touch. Throws underneath Stoneburner. They will call a foul underneath the basket. Pardon me, that's Landon Wolf. Effingham will keep it on the foul. It'll be the Rams first. First on Simon Wilson. That's where he's tough as he gets into the post when he has a smaller player like Lucas on him that time. Pardon me, I looked on the wrong side. That'll be the Rams first. It's on Cooper. Inbound will go deep to the center circle for Landon Wolf With a right-hand dribble, he's at the wing. Now to the free throw line. Looks inside. Good play to the basket. Got continuation. Had he been fouled? Layup is good. We are tied at five. Community yeah. first bank of the heartland. Banking at the speed of you. He's tough when he gets to his right hand like that. And uses his body. He's a strong kid. Does well controlling the basketball at the rim. Pro with it at the volleyball line. Dribbles free throw line, throws inside. It's off the chest of Brockhouse. Rams turn it over. The other way for the Hearts. Parker Wolf into the front cart. Elbow jumper from the right side. Rims out. Rebound will go to Brockhouse. Rin Lake College, you can save thousands on your collegiate education. Maybe get right to work. Log on to rlc.edu to find out how. Wolf with the steal on the interception, then dribbles out of bounds. Gives it back to the Rams. Yeah, he kind of jumped the passing lane there on Simon Wilson, was able to deflect it. Lucky for the Rams, he wasn't able to control it. He had an easy two going the other direction. Looks like uh, Effingham setting up in a 2-3 zone now, getting out of their man. Well, Vernon needs to get into a little bit of a high-low action here. Looks short corner to Weston Brockhouse, the soft spot of the zone. Kwani right at the free throw line. Going to have it tipped away to Nate Thompson. Effingham into the front court for Landon Wolf. Ball fake as he tries a dribble drive. Now off his foot. He'll recover and give to Parker Wolf. Back to Landon. Wide open three on the way for the lead. Good. Yeah. He makes those. Then take your hat off to him. You got to give him that. Lucas kind of got out of position diving for the loose ball and gave him an open three. He's able to knock it down. 4.15 to play in the first quarter. Out of the corner is Jackson Creel. 4.12 left. Now Cooper wants a three for the tie. It's no good. Rebound will fall in the hands of Stoneburner. And into the front court will go Landon Wolf. Hands to Parker. Curls to the free throw line inside. Throws back to the outside. Wolf dribble drive. Throws outside for Thompson. Three on the way. No good. Sticks between the rim and the backboard. Alternating possession. Gives it to the Rams. Yeah, I'd like to see what Mount Vernon could do and draw a foul on land. And he, he dips his shoulder when he takes the ball off the dribble. If you square him up and take a flop there, make the official make a call, see if you can't get him into a little foul trouble. He is using his body effectively to gain some space, pushing his man off. Banking at the speed of you. Community First Bank makes it easy to switch. Stop by and pick up your new switch kit at one of their convenient locations. Community First Bank, banking at the speed of you. Dribble drive for the... Baseline for Cooper. Left that short. Rebound to go the other way. Into the front court. This is Wolf. Ooh, Landon Wolf, an easy layup. He has seven in the quarter. 
It's 10 to 5, Effingham. Got to meet him early. When he gets the ball that deep, you're in big trouble. They're in a 1 2 2 zone now. Middle's a soft spot of this. See if we can't get Kwani or West in the flash high in the middle. 319 left to go in the first. Off of the right wing. Three on the way. Pro is short. Rebound will be out of bounds off of uh, Mount Vernon. Pretty good look there by Pro. Maybe a little quick, but a good skip pass to him at the elbow for an open three. Just came up a little bit short. 10-5 ball game, Effingham with the basketball. 3-11 left to go in the first quarter in the SSM Health broadcast booth, SSMHealth.com slash doctors. Find the healing power of presence. Break steal, that'll be Carson Pro to the basket. He'll dribble it out for the layup. Gets the Rams back within a possession at 10-7. Pro getting the start tonight in place of the injured Amir Span. Drew Thompson with the dribble. Throws back to the elbow for Nate Thompson, who gives it back to Drew. Now to the right wing for Parker Wolf. Crosser dribble, now to the right side, Thompson. Back to Parker Wolf. Wolf inside to Landon Wolf. And now inside on a curl. He will leave one off the window. No good. Rebound, bro. Carson leads the Rams in the front court. Up the right side for Cooper. Pulls up inside the free throw line. Jumper's good. Rams back within one. Nice job by Coop dribbling into an open spot there and pulled up from about 10 feet. A little mid-range game. Knocked it down. Off of the far wing, right-hand dribble inside, Nate Thompson. Kick corner, three on the way for Parker Wolf is no good. Rebound will belong to Simon Wilson. With two minutes left to go in the first, Rams have the basketball right of the circle. Cooper over to Creel, wide open three on the way. Good, medicine shot, three-pointer. Another $5 back to Ram Athletics, and the Rams are on top at 12-10. Good job by Jackson running to the open spot. They reversed the ball quickly, and he had a wide open three and was able to knock it down the first three of the game for the Rams. Nate Thompson, a ball fake, dribble drive, now throws to the top. They'll reverse to the outside. Here comes a mid-post J from Wolf. No good. That was Landon. Got his own cleanup. Puts it up and in. Yeah, you got to stay down. Don't let him ball fake you from three and leave your feet. Make him take that three-point shot. He did make one earlier. That's something Mount Vernon needs to live with. They're still in a 1-2-2 zone right now in the half-court defense. Side at 12 with a minute 25 left to go in the first quarter. Chris Hugo, Tom Pointer alongside, 94.1 FM. This is WMIXFM Mount Vernon near the top of the hour. Underneath, Brockhouse to the bucket. A little too far underneath, and now we'll have a foul on the Rams after the Effingham rebound with a minute 13 to go in the first, tied at 12. Yeah, a little bit of a frustration foul there by Weston. Got a shot blocked. Got a little bit too far under the basket. Wasn't able to protect the basketball when he went up. Got it blocked, then reached in and picked up his foul, his first foul. Team's fourth, I believe. Don't let your knee or hip pain keep you from doing the things you enjoy. Crossroads Community Hospital's Bone and Joint team is here to help. Learn more at CrossroadsHospital.com. Tied at 12 here in the first quarter. About a minute to go. With it up top is Thompson to the outside now for Neberg. left hand dribble. Parker Wolf back to Nate Thompson. What's our Thompson count? It's still if two. Our Wolf Thompson count's still two. Wolf, you're pretty good. You don't need to give a first name. <laughs> Thompson over to the left wing. Wolf to Wolf. This is landing to the basket. His shot blocks. Simmons on the block, and now it'll be a foul from behind on the second try for Landon Wolf. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, pretty tough for Hunter to get in there and have to match up with Landon Wolf right out of the shoot. But once again, you really got to try to limit his looks down in the post. See if you can't run a double to him, make him beat you from the perimeter, that being another player. Make him give it up when he gets it that deep. Wolf at the free throw line, trying to unlock the tie. He will. He'll make the first. Community of First Bank invites you to the 6th Annual Blessing of the Farmer, March 2nd at 8 a.m. at the INET Community Building. Celebrate our local farmers and their efforts into making our communities a better place. Contact Brandon at Community First Bank for more info. 13-12 Effingham, make it 14-12. Landon Wolf makes both free throws. He has 11 in the quarter. Yeah, he's off to a good start, obviously. 11 of their 14. His brother having the other three on a, on a baseline three-pointer, so... So far, one of our keys to the game, limiting Landon Wolf, has not worked out up to this point. They're still in kind of a flat 1 2 2 zone, almost a 3 2 look, and they're staying back. Mount Vernon is going to hold it for one here. Look for Mount Vernon to get the ball opposite to Lucas Cooper. See if you can't get a seal and skip to either Jackson Creel or Simon Wilson. Lucas taking the ball up at the point now. 12 seconds. Cooper is left of the circle here as we near the end of the first quarter. 14-12. Hearts on top. Rands with it in the front court. 
High pass to Creole on the left wing with three. Skip pass to Pro. Quick three off at the buzzer. No good. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter. It's Effingham 14, the Rams 12. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. It's banking, but at the speed of you. Coming soon in 2019, online mortgage applications, mobile deposit for your checks, and a super easy way to pay someone with a program called Pay Someone. Plus, you're going to love Community First Bank's new website coming soon. It's cfbh.bank. It'll be mobile-friendly and packed with all the latest and easiest ways to bank. Yes, getting better every day. It's banking at the speed of you at Community First Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Limited. There's big savings this month at the all-new Monkey Toyota Buick GMC in Mount Vernon. Come look at a brand new 2018 GMC Sierra four-wheel drive crew cab SLT loaded with equipment, MSRP 52795 Save over $10,000 at 42.5 plus tax. There's thousands of dollars in savings on every new Toyota Buick GMC in stock, most with 0%. Come see us, Munkin Toyota Buick GMC, Mount Vernon. Back to the SSM Health Broadcast booth. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. We head to the second quarter here in Effingham, and Tom Fortner for the uh, Effingham Hearts. It's been the Wolf Show. 14 points combined, though Landon had 11. Yeah, I think we saw that coming, obviously, especially with Marksman out. He was another primary scorer for them, so... Look for that to continue. Like I said, just try to limit Landon's looks, and a good job by Coop jumping over the top on that post-entry pass. Ten seconds into the second quarter, Rams with a steal. They throw to Wilson off of the sideline. 14-12, to 12, Effingham after one. Rams have the basketball now. Rockhouse inside on a turnaround for the tie, and one. A good pass by Carson Pro. When he got the ball on the skip pass, he caught it in the air and threw it immediately to Weston, who had good post position, turned off his opposite shoulder and scored. And has an and one. Good job all around there. 14 all. And now here comes a free throw. No good. So we'll stay tied with 7.38 to go here in the first half. Right wing crossover dribble down to the top for Drew Thompson. Doubles back to the right side off the wing. Wolf into the corner. Thompson back to Parker Wolf. 7.25 left in the first half. We'll have the Joe's Pizza and Pasta halftime show coming up after this. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's kind Nate of out Thompson. of nowhere. I'll give them that one, though. Like I said, if they're going to be shooting threes, he's maybe one of the guys you want shooting, but he's able to knock that one down. They're still in this flat 3-2, 1-2-2 look. 17-14 score, three-point lead. Seven minutes to go in the first half. Effingham on top. Out of the corner, Creel near the top for Carson Perot. Right sideline for Cooper. Into the corner for Jackson. Nice pass, slide pass, mid-post for Wilson. Fights the defender, dekes him out, no good. Rebound will go to Parker Wolf. Hearts into the front court, two on two. Nice move to the basket. Wolf scoop layup, it's no good. Rebound, Drew Thompson throws it off of Brockhouse out of bounds and stays with Effingham. A yeah, good hustle by Thompson there. Parker would have been wise to use the backboard on that. Kind of came up a little bit long off the back of the iron. Nonetheless, Effingham ball under the goal. 6.40 to go in the first half. Effingham will inbound. It's Wolf to Wolf. Landon with the shot. Parker with the pass. It's no good. Brockhouse the rebound stolen away. It'll be out of bounds off of Mount Vernon. Yeah. Got to be careful there. I think they're going to actually give it to Mount Vernon. All right. Believe it or not. We'll take it. Looked like it might have went off Jackson, but we'll take the basketball down three. 6.34 here to go in the third. They're still in the same 3-2 look in the zone half-court defense. Thank you to the speed of you, Community First Bank. Proud to announce a new website coming soon, cfbh.bank. That's a nice roll by Weston Brockhouse coming now at 17-16 as the Rams are back within one. Nice move to the bucket by Brockhouse, and now Effingham's into the front court. Drew Thompson on the right wing. The right sideline finds Nate Thompson. He'll drive at the free throw lane. Kicks it to the outside. Corner three. Good. Drew Thompson getting in on the scoring. First quarter was the Wolves. Second quarter is the Thompsons. It's 2016. Yeah, you got, like I said, I think we'll live with that. Unfortunately, he's able to knock it down. Still take our chances with them taking three. Skip pass to Simon. No looker to Creel. Back to Simon Wilson in the corner. Three on the way. No good. It's in and out from Simon Wilson. Brockhouse steals the rebound. Puts it back up and in. The Rams cut it to two, 20 to 18. Brockhouse having a big quarter unofficially, and now Effingham the other way, playing too quickly, a wasted shot inside. We'll go the other way on the Rams' rebound. SSM Health broadcast booth, SSMHealth.com slash doctors to find your next position. Right sideline, Cooper. It's a bounce pass between the rings for Jackson Creel. 
Back Cooper right of the circle. Now to Pro off of the sideline. Nice Boy, feed. That's, that's Brockhouse. That's eight in the quarter. A simple block to block screen and sealing him on that low post and getting Brockhouse wide open looks out of that. They're going to probably have to get out of that 3 2 zone. We're tied at 25 02 mark of the quarter, and now that changes. Landon Wolf, a left wing three. He has 14 on the night. We'll have a timeout on the floor. 23 20, Effingham, 457 mark of this first half. This time out sponsored by First Mid Bank and Trust, ready to serve all of your banking needs. With online and mobile banking, you can bank with First Mid anytime from anywhere. Visit firstmid.com today. Well, it's back and forth. That's all you can ask for. Yeah, that wasn't bad defense. They ran him off his spot. Landon had to take a quick dribble, shuffle to the right, and he's still able to knock it down. They're really hot here in the second quarter from three-point range, and for the game, they're five for eight. So... Like I say, I think we'll stick with our defensive plan and try to keep them off the rim and keep Landon Wolf out of the lane. And If they keep making threes, then it's going to be a tough night. But I still like our chances if they're going to be shooting a volume of their shots from the three-point land. 23-20 score, 457 to go in the first half. Rams with the basketball out of the timeout. Chris Hugo, Tom Porter alongside. Connor McDaniel back at the studio. Jeff Crow with us. He provides the video. WMIXSports.com. Three on the way from Brockhouse is no good. Hoping for a hot hand. Rebound ends up top of the key for Cooper. Skip pass coming. Simon Wilson. Sideline three. No. He'll put it between the circles for Creel. Back to Wilson on the sideline. They're all over him. Jackson will get it back at the circle with 4.30 left to go in the first half. Now Cooper left wing. Creel at the circle. Dribbles back to the deep wing and throws right of the circle for Cooper. He'll fake a pass and go back left and give to Jackson. Creel wide open for a three. It's in. Wow. It's a medicine shot three-pointer. looked like it was going to fall out. It didn't out. look good, to be totally honest with you. It caught just enough to crawl in there. Mount Vernon's second three and eight attempts here in the early going. Three on the way for the answer. Drew Thompson, he has six in the quarter, both from three-point land. It's 26-23. They're four for four from three in the second quarter, six for nine in the game. Maybe my theory is going to be blasted out of the water here, letting him shoot threes. 3.48 left in the first half. Crossroads Community Hospital says don't live with that knee or hip pain. The bone and joint experts are here to help. Visit CrossroadsHospital.com for more information. 3.38 left to go. Creel has it. We're in the second quarter. 26-23 Effingham. Now it's Simon Wilson right wing. Between the circles, Creel left wing for Cooper. He'll drive off a curl. Goes baseline. Bounce pass corner. Three on the way. Wilson, yes. Medicine shot three-pointer for Simon Wilson. Another $5 back to Ram Athletics. We're tied at 26. Good job there with the baseline drive and kick to a three. There's a lot of gaps in this 3-2 zone. Not sure they're going to stay in that much longer. Bounce pass looking for Wolf. I think that was the Wolf brothers. Yep. No they, angle there. They turned it over. He'd been wise to take one more dribble to the baseline, get that ball low. Get an angle for that. Coop is on the top side. Good job by Coop on the defensive end. Left sideline, Simon Wilson. Between the circles, it's Lucas Cooper. Now to Wilson, corner. Is he a hot hand? Not right now, but the backdoor rebound to go to Effingham. Yeah, good look. Good seal. Good skip to the three. Wide open three. Just didn't make it. Drew Thompson off of the wing. Community First Bank is banking at the speed of you. In fact, they make it easy to switch. Stop by and pick up a new switch kit at Community First Bank's convenient locations. Banking at the speed of you. Tate Nieberge with it up top. Leaving it for Thompson, I should say. Now right wing three on the way for Parker Wolf is no good. We're tied at 26. Rams get the rebound. 2.30 left to go in the first half. Boy, this is flying by. Not a lot of stops to play. No fouls really being called, which is fine by me. They keep this thing moving. It's a pretty entertaining basketball game with both teams shooting the ball pretty well. Good skip to a seal. Nothing there for Jackson. Creel off the wing. Dribbles back near the scorer's table. 2.11 left to go in the first half. Deep right wing for Simon Wilson. Looks off the sideline for Coop. Coop comes around. Bounce pass top, stolen away. Easy layup for Parker Wolf. It is good. Yeah, not a very good job there. The man cut. Lucas looked to drop it off to him. He wasn't there. Easy turnover there going the other way. 28-26 score. Two-point game with it up top. Jackson Creel as he enters the front court. Now to the right wing for Coop. Rams are down a pair here. Still close at Effingham. Rams... Notable story is they're without leading scorer Amir Span. They're playing pretty well in his absence. Inside to Kwani. Kwani will be yeah, he did. camped out. He never left. I was wondering if he was going to call that. He really had one foot in the whole time, but that's kind of a cheesy call, to be totally honest with you. He wasn't camping in there with both feet set in the post. But 
Nonetheless, a turnover for the Rams, are sixth here in the first half. Down to Mount Vernon, 28-26 with a minute 27 left in the first half. Drew Thompson with it to Parker Wolf. Now to the far sideline for Landon Wolf. Parker Wolf with it at the right volleyball line. Nieberg to come get it. Deep right wing for Drew Thompson. Gets it right back from Landon Wolf. He'll dribble, drive, free throw line. Backs it out to Parker Wolf, who now will drive. Jump stop off of the block. Kicks it back to the top. Minute five left to go in the first half. 28-26 score. Tony Wilt presents our scoreboard updates. We'll catch you up at the half. Tony Wilt, State Farm agent of Mount Vernon. Look for that white State Farm Jeep around town. State Farm's here to help life go right. 28-26 Effingham with the basketball. Parker Wolf will drive. They'll call the blocking foul on Creel. And Effingham will inbound beneath their bucket. Off of the baseline. Just the sixth foul total called here in the first half. Mount Vernon's fourth team foul. Got to get on his left hand. He's strong going to the left side, being a left-handed player in Parker Wolf. Parker Wolf has it out of the corner. Back to Landon Wolf on the wing. Between the leg dribble, gets wing, throws off. Parker Wolf isolated for three. It's no good. Rebound. Tipped, it looks like, to the Rams. Not a great shot there. Taking a three with really 40 seconds to go on the half was... Kind of thinking they're going to hold it for one. Look for Mount Vernon to do that now. They're still in the 3-2 zone. Mount Vernon will hold it down to about 10 seconds. They'll look for a quick skip and seal. And if that guy runs to the guy off the seal, the man in the post is going to be open, that being Weston Brockhouse. 28-26 score. The Rams right now down two. It's been a 14-all second quarter, so it's been even here in quarter two. They jumped into a man now out of this 3-2 zone. With the six seconds, it's Creel. Kicks to Hunter Simmons. He gets inside, jumps up to the basket, layup's good. Hunter Simmons off the bench, ties it here at halftime. We're tied at 28 here at the half. We will have your Joe's Pizza and Pasta halftime show coming up. This is Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. It's banking, but at the speed of you. Coming soon in 2019, online mortgage applications, mobile deposit for your checks, and a super easy way to pay someone with a program called Pay Someone. Plus, you're going to love Community First Bank's new website coming soon. It's cfbh.bank. It'll be mobile-friendly and packed with all the latest and easiest ways to bank. Yes, getting better every day. It's banking at the speed of you at Community First Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Limited. If you're looking for a new doctor, look no further than the new SSM Health Provider Finder. Search for physicians online based on conditions and treatments, name spellings and pronunciations, and locations near you. What's more, SSM Health doctors are known for taking the time to listen and connect with you. We call this the healing power of presence. You'll find this helpful tool at ssmhealth.com slash doctors. Get back to your sport. Get back to life. The talented team of orthopedic specialists at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois lead the way in sports medicine with the latest non-surgical techniques for a speedy recovery, along with the latest innovations in arthroscopic surgery, keeping young athletes healthy is their specialty, getting them back on the field sooner after an injury. See Dr. Ben Hool, Dr. Angela Freehill, and PA Devin Hurtling today. Call 618-242-3778 or visit orthocenter-si.com. This is Chase Landers with Landers Towing and Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem, your ICAR Gold Class Collision Repair Professionals. So what exactly does ICAR certified mean? It means that after an accident, you can rest easy knowing your vehicle is in good hands. It means we'll do a complete diagnostic scan on vehicles before the repairs are started and after they're completed to ensure that all electrical equipment and components are working properly. And it means that your vehicle will be repaired using state-of-the-art measuring technology that gets us within one millimeter of the vehicle manufacturer recommended specifications. Whether your vehicle is made of 6,000 series aluminum alloy or ultra high strength steel structures, we have the latest technology to complete the repairs required. And now you can receive a repair estimate from us without ever leaving the comfort of your home and office. Just ask us about our new mobile app. Let us show you why Landers is the most qualified collision repair experts in the area. Landers Towing and Collision Centers in Mount Vernon and Salem. Just give us a call. 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Joe's Pizza and Pasta halftime show starts now. Halftime in Effingham, and we are all tied up at 28 apiece. This is your Joe's Pizza and Pasta halftime show. Whatever the, <laughs> whatever the reason you can't get to Joe's Pizza, big work project or nasty weather, 
Don't worry, Joe's now delivers lunch to your door or your office. Call or order online at orderjoes.com. Joe's Pizza, 819 Jordan in Mount Vernon. The people's choice for pizza. We are tied here at halftime. The FNM Hearts and the Mount Vernon Rams at 28 apiece. And, Tom, not a bad first half for the Rams. No, well played half by both teams, to be honest with you. They got off to a really hot start in the second quarter. Shooting threes, making the first four they took. They missed the last couple, but they're still shooting at a high percentage from threes. So with them shooting the ball as well as they have in the first half and Mount Vernon getting out of here with a tie, I think Coach Freel will be pretty happy with that at this point. We're pretty happy with taking a break here. The dance team is on the floor right now here at Effingham. We'll get you some scoring and stats when we come back. It's a 28-all ball game. The Mount Vernon Rams and Effingham Arts. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Soar into a new industry or make strides in your current one with a drone certificate from Rin Lake College. This innovative program offers top-notch instruction to fly unmanned aircraft systems in many industries, including agriculture, criminal justice, videography, and more. Just three classes taken two nights a week can get you in the air and prepare to become a certified drone pilot through the FAA. For more info, call 618-437-5321, extension 1261, or visit rlc.edu. Rin Lake College, your journey starts here. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit crossroadscommunityhospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. Don't let Old Man Winter get you down. Stop in and check out our great deals and let us brighten your day. Hi, Roy Smith at Roy Smith Honda. We currently have specials on almost every new vehicle in the Honda lineup. If it's time for a new car, how about a Honda? Cozy up in your new Accord or Civic with financing as low as 1.9% for 60 months. Warm up to the great deals on the hot selling CRV, also offering 1.9% for 60 months. Brave the snowy roads with the whole family with seating for up to eight passengers with the 19 pilot with financing as low as 0.9% for 60 months. Or take that long needed vacation to a warmer climate in the luxurious, comfortable, smooth driving Honda Odyssey with 0.9% for 36 months. It's time to get the deal you've been waiting for. How about a Honda? Drive yours right here at Roy Schmidt Honda, 1705 West Fan in Effingham, and online at RoySchmidtHonda.com. Back to Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. 94.1 FM worldwide, streaming video at WMIXSports.com. Tonight, if you want real Chicago-style pizza, Joe's Pizza is the place. Fresh salads and garlic breads complement that amazing Chicago-style pie. Joe's Pizza voted the people's choice. It's off the square in Mount Vernon. We are tied at 28 here at halftime. Chris Hugo, Tom Portner alongside, the latter of whom has some scoring and stats. For the Rams, very efficient from two-point range, 9 for 11. A lot of that, granted, was right at the rim, but still 82%. 3 for 10 from 3, a little bit low of a percentage there, 30%. Just took two free throws, made one of them. Both of those, I believe, was by Weston Brockhouse. We had six turnovers, so pretty clean first half. For the Effingham Flaming Hearts, they were four for 12 from two-point range, 33%. Big key stat for them is they were six for nine from three. They're actually six for 11 from three. They missed the last two they took. They were two for two from the free throw line, which is 100%, and they had five turnovers in the first half. Individual scores for this one for the Effingham Hearts, led by Landon Wolf with 14. Six from Drew Thompson, five from Parker Wolf, three from Nate Thompson. While the Rams, led by Weston Brockhouse, is 11. Eight from Jackson Creel, three from Simon Wilson, then two each from Carson Pro, Hunter Simmons, and Luke Cooper. It was Hunter Simmons who had the tying basket at the buzzer. 28 all here at halftime. The Malford and Rams on the road in Effingham. We'll take a break, come back, and wrap up this Joe's Pizza and Pasta halftime show. This is Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Hey, sports fans, it's your local State Farm agent, Tony Will. As an athlete, if you want to be successful on the field, on the court, or on the diamond, it takes a good plan, a team working together, and a good coach. At State Farm, we believe in that same approach. Protecting your family from everyday risk doesn't just happen. If your insurance plan isn't working, or if you're going at it alone, let me introduce you to my team. We want to be your coach and get a strategy that works for you. 
find me online, stop by my office, or just look for the Jeep. I'll be glad to help. If you're looking for a new doctor, look no further than the new SSM Health Provider Finder. Search for physicians online based on conditions and treatments, name spellings and pronunciations, and locations near you. What's more, SSM Health doctors are known for taking the time to listen and connect with you. We call this the healing power of presence. You'll find this helpful tool at ssmhealth.com slash doctors. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. 94.1 FM and worldwide at WMIXSports.com. We're tied at 28 here at the half on your Joe's Pizza and Pasta halftime show. Chris, you go Tom Porter alongside, and Tom, tied at 28. Give the Rams a lot of credit. They outscored Effingham to the tune of 16-14, so outscored them by two to tie it up at halftime and are definitely in this ball game. It's so easy to come on the road in a tough environment. It's so easy to come on the road against a team you've lost to already. And it's even more difficult without your leading score. But these guys have proven to be up to the task and have played well through 16 minutes. Absolutely. I think they played a great first half. And that's like with them shooting the ball so high of a percentage from three, they were six for 11, 55%. So to be tied in this basketball game on the road without your leading score, I think Coach Creel is quite happy with the effort the Rams have given here so far tonight. See if we can't duplicate that maybe a little bit better here in the second half and get out of here with a victory. See what the Rams get done here in quarters three and four. They're huddled up in front of their bench here as we get ready for the start of the second half. Joe's Pizza and Pasta is a people's choice for Italian. Try their Tuesday night two pasta special or large two topping with 12 wings tomorrow night. And all you can eat, spaghetti on Thursdays. Take your friends and head to Joe's just off the square on Jordan Street in Mount Vernon. If any of the guys were looking up at the big screen during the shoot-around, they just played the end of Hoosiers. And if that don't get you ready to play basketball, I don't know what will. I'm ready to jump out of the broadcast booth and go take a shot myself. Well, they have the new video board here at Effingham, donated by their sports backers. I, know I saw some social media clips of that earlier in the year. and While those can be a great thing, they can also be a distraction. I heard distraction, all right. I couldn't keep my eyes off when they were playing the end of Hoosiers there, but... Nonetheless, here we go in the second half. Rams start with the basketball here in the right court. Second half action from Effingham. Three by Cooper for the lead is good. Medicine shot three-pointer already. Another $5 back to Ram Athletics, and the Rams lead 31-28. Coop just come off a simple down screen. They could quit three themselves and missed it, so Mount Vernon up three here early going third. 7.35 left in the quarter. Coop, a dribble drive. Nope, bounces the pass mid-post. Brockhouse fights the defender. It'll be a jump ball. Possession now favors Effingham, so the Rams will turn it over. They're up 31-28, 7.29 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, no spacing there. He kind of threw a bounce pass to West and already had three guys on him. Difficult catch there. They tied him up for a jump ball. Drew Thompson coming off the wing, dribbles to the free throw line, now up top. Of course, the kid you don't write in your book makes it into the ball game, and now a jumper on the inside, I believe, by Landon Wolf. Yeah, you're correct on that. He got the ball into the lane, got to his left shoulder, took a little bit of a hit there and was able to knock it down. Eppingham back within one. That was Aiden back into the ball game a moment ago. And now the Rams look for a basket. I didn't see the shooter. It was Jackson Creel getting to the right side, got to the rim, and was able to lay it in. Good take off the dribble by Jackson. Banking at the speed of you. Rams playing at a different speed, different level. They're up three, 6.45 to go in the third quarter. And, of course, Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of the Rams. Now a three on the way, and it's good by Nate Thompson. Okay, we're tied at 33. Yeah, he keeps shooting the ball well. They're proving me wrong, making some of these other guys make threes. And they're so far been up to the task. Tie basketball game at 33. Creel into the front court, throws left of the circle for Lucas Cooper. We're tied at 33, 6.20 mark. Here in quarter number three. Off of the right sideline for Jackson Creel in front of the Ram bench. Skip pass to Coop. He had the opening three here in the half. Does he have another one in him? Yes, he does. Medicine shot three-pointer. Another $5 back to Ram Athletics. Ram lead, 36-33. Uh-oh, wide open is Thompson, though. Two Thompsons. Two Wolves. Well, Wolves. Wolves, yeah. Wolves is easier <laughs> to say, isn't it? 
And somebody else out there. I think original starters as yeah. Stoneburner is out Stoneburner, there. Stoneburner, yeah. Uh-oh, there's a Thompson wide open for a three. That's no good off the back of the iron. That was Matt, recovered by Parker Wolf on the rebound. He'll run a runner inside. It's good. And a tough shot there. Like you said, a runner, a little bit of a teardrop there. Mount Vernon's got to clean up that defensive board off the missed three. You're going to get a lot of long rebounds off of that. They're going to call a body foul on Stoneburner. 529 remaining in the third quarter. It's 36-35. Rams are up one. Rim Lake College presents our video streaming. Of course, the award-winning Rim Lake College right here in your own backyard. Rim Lake College, your journey starts here. Quick inbound to Wilson. Looking for Brockhouse underneath. Defender clears. Brockhouse misses a possible bunny. Puts it back up. No. And now to the free throw line. will go Weston Brockhouse. Good set play there. They run that a lot where Simon Wilson will cut to the corner, get the inbound play, clear out the back side, and isolate Weston in the post. Threw it over the top. He missed the bunny, unfortunately, and got fouled on the second one. Has two free throws, missed the first. 36-35, Rams by one, hoping to make it two at the free throw line with 5.23 to go in the third quarter. It's Weston Brockhouse at the stripe, finishing up a two-shot set, knocks that one down. He has 12, and the Rams are up a deuce, 37-35. Hunter Simmons checked back in for the Rams. I think look for him to play on Landon Wolf a little bit to start out. Mount Vernon switches screens, but he could put a little bit of a body on him and give him some physicality. And he is matched up with him right now. 5.13 to go in the third quarter, 37-35. A handoff coming around Parker Wolf to the top, throws to the left sideline for Tate Nieberger. Deep right wing for Drew Thompson. He'll drive. Ooh, nice fake. Throws to the top for Landon Wolf. 4.58 mark of the third quarter, 37-35. Good backdoor play. Stoneburner shot up and deflected in. Yeah, you're right. He got a piece of that. And that being Weston Brockhouse, Stoneburner didn't look like he was ready for that pass. Took a while to get it off, but nonetheless was able to finish over the front of the rim. We're tied at 37, 4.40 to go in the third. If you're looking for a new doctor, go to SSMHealth.com slash doctors. SSM Health, the healing power of presence. Jackson Creel with the basketball for the Rams, tied at 37. Looking for a lob pass down low. Brockhouse from Wilson. It'll be tipped out of bounds on a steal by Parker Wolf, and the Rams will have it beneath their bucket. They went back to the 3-2 zone again. Mount Vernon going back to that block-to-block -block action, and Weston did have an open look, but they were able to tip it out. Cooper on the right wing. Nice bounce pass left wing for Brockhouse. Back to Coop up top. NBA 3 perhaps? No, it's short. Rebound Hunter Simmons. QB1 trying to throw it inside. It's stolen away. And the other way goes up and he am tied at 37. Corner kick, 3 Wolf. No, Parker left it short. Rebound Landon Wolf. He'll put it back up and no good, but he's fouled. Yeah, like I said, you got to clean up that first miss. Mount Vernon's been able to do that a couple times now. Missed three by Parker, but Landon was able to pick up the loose ball and got fouled under the goal. Two free throws coming for him. Banking at the speed of you. Coming soon to, co to Community First Bank. Online mortgage applications, mobile check deposit, and a super easy way to pay someone. Called Pay Someone. Community First Bank. Banking at the speed of you. Effingham's back on top, 38-37 after the free throw. The first one good by Landon Wolf. He'll have another with 4.09 remaining in the third quarter. Third of three games here tonight between Rams and Effingham. Second free throw also good. Two-point lead, 39-37. Rams took the freshman matchup, 53-37. They took the JV matchup in the teens as well. We'll have a foul away from the basketball. They called a foul on Weston Brockhouse on the blockout. Said he held. Weston looks pretty mystified by it as well as I. That's a push off on Stoneburner. A little bit of a makeup call there, I believe. Going the other way. So it gives the Rams the basketball down to near the midway point of this third quarter. The inbound will come from Lucas Cooper linked to the floor. Maybe they didn't think they called enough fouls in the first half and they're going to make up for it in the second because those two fouls there that really didn't need to be called. Well, it's a smooth pace into a snail's pace. Now to the corner, Jackson Creel. Bounce pass to Cooper. Swings it around to the right side. Pro back to Cooper. A reverse all the way to the far left for Creel. Has it stripped, recovered by Tate Nieberger. He throws ahead to Parker Wolf. And he will run into a defender like a bull in the china shop and get rewarded with a foul. Yeah, I think they got Lucas on the hold. I think uh, he's on the floor, though. He's going into a spin move, and they did call that correctly. Effingham ball under the goal. It's a lob to the right elbow for Landon Wolf. Backs up the defender on the dribble, leans in, travels yeah, with the basketball. Good, job good there catch. By, yeah, no doubt. Good defense by Simmons. He, Like I said, he's a bigger body. 
when Landon Wolf puts his shoulder into him, he doesn't give any ground like some of the other kids. So good job on the defensive end by Simmons. Community First Bank of the Heartlands, the official voice of Rams Athletics here on your radio. Of course, Lady Rams basketball falls tonight. 51-37, so the Lady Rams season comes to a close at the hands of Benton at Rich Heron Gymnasium in regional play. A scoreboard update sponsored by Tony Wilcher, State Farm agent. As Creole wants a runner, shot partially blocked, but the rebound recovered. Nice underneath pass. to Cooper, oh. reverse layup, no good. Pro had a great pass underneath. Cooper couldn't finish, and now the hearts go the other way. Elbow jumper is good from Landon Wolf. He'll make your dreams turn into nightmares. Yeah, that was good defense again by Simmons. Unfortunately, my key to the game is keep him in the 15 to 20 point range. He's got 20 now with a full quarter to go. 256 left to go in the third. Skip pass. They were looking for it anyway. Nieberg, he got his hands in the passing lane and certainly disrupted that. Again, that scoreboard update. Tony Wilt is your state farm agent of Mount Vernon. Online at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. See how you can get to a better state with State Farm. Two fifty left to go. 41-37 score. We're in the third quarter of a four-point game. Up top, Creel for a three. Good. Jackson Creel, a big three. Medicine shot three-pointer. Another five dollars back to Ram Athletics. Make it 41-40. Rams are back within one, 234 mark of the third. He walked right into that. Nobody guarded him in that 3-2 zone. Open look. Good defense by Kwani cutting off the baseline drive. Creel run. Brockhouse, Cooper, and Wilson for the Rams. A couple of Wolves, a two Thompsons, and a stone burner for Effingham. Three on the way for D. Wolf. It's no good. D. Thompson. And now 2-11 left in the third. Rams will go into the front court. It'll be out of bounds off of, looks like they threw it off of Drew Thompson, or at least the pass went that way and yep. he deflected. Yeah, a little bit of a flat pass there, no angle. Kind of fortunate that ball is knocked out of bounds. This 3-2 zone, the middle is a soft spot in that. If we can find somebody there, that being Kwani, he's getting just a little bit too high. Three on the way, Cooper. And the Rams are shooting hot tonight from beyond the arc. Medicine shop. Money to be spent. $5 back to Ram Athletics from the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon. 43-41. Yeah, switching things now. They're the ones making threes after Effingham made them in the second quarter. Uh-oh. The answer is on the way, but it's declined, and now the rebound will be tipped to Effingham. That's a great try by Wolf, and now Parker Wolf wants a three. It's no good. That's a foul. And we'll have a foul from behind. A momentum swing in the way of the orange and black. Yeah, I think you're starting to see the law of averages starting to work out here. They're going to continue to take the threes, and that's kind of fool's gold sometimes when you make them early. And they're missing them now here in the third quarter, one for six here in the quarter. So, like I said, I'm going to stick to it, make them shoot threes. I think you got a shot at winning this basketball game. Out of the corner, it'll be Cooper. Bounce pass into the corner for Wilson, right side. Looks inside, uh, no looker, there. tough pass. Rudd tried to tip it back to the Rams. Eek. And now the other way goes Parker Wolf for the layup. It's good. Parker Wolf ties it up. He has four in the quarter, nine in the game. It's 43 all with a minute 11 left here in the third frame. Not a good turnover there. Live ball turnover. We went to an easy two to go in the other way. Look for Mount Vernon now. In a tie basketball game to spread the floor a little bit. I think they may get out of this 3-2 zone if Mount Vernon holds it down to about 30 seconds or so. See if they can't pressure Mount Vernon into a turnover. But they're, now they're content to stay in this 3-2 zone. So Mount Vernon will hold it for one if possible. Three guys in double figures so far for the Rams. Creel with 13. Brockhouse has noon, otherwise known as 12. And Lucas Cooper has 11. Right now it's Creel with the team high 13 with the basketball. Steps on the hard insignia on the far side of the floor with a half minute to go in the third. We're tied at 43. Rams and Effingham here on the road. We're in the SSM Health broadcast booth. Chris Hugo with Tom Pointer alongside. Last time they jumped into a man here at the last 10 seconds. They're still staying in this 3-2 zone. They're looking Pass, for Kwani yeah. Rudd inside. Lost it. It'll be recovered by Landon Wolf. He spins out of trouble into the front court. Top of the key. Into the defender. His layup is good. It's 45-43. Effingham. And now for three-quarter court for Creel. It's close, but it's no good. We head to the fourth quarter. Effingham's up to 45-43. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. It's banking, but at the speed of you. Coming soon in 2019, online mortgage applications, mobile deposit for your checks, and a super easy way to pay someone with a program called Pay Someone. Plus, you're going to love Community First Bank's new website coming soon. It's cfbh.bank. 
It'll be mobile friendly and packed with all the latest, and easiest ways to bank. Yes, getting better every day. It's banking at the speed of you at Community First Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Get back to your sport. Get back to life. The talented team of orthopedic specialists at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois lead the way in sports medicine with the latest non-surgical techniques for a speedy recovery, along with the latest innovations in arthroscopic surgery. Keeping young athletes healthy is their specialty, getting them back on the field sooner after an injury. See Dr. Ben Poole, Dr. Angela Freehill, and PA Devin Hurtling today. Call 618-242-3778 or visit orthocenter-si.com. Your home for the Mount Vernon Rams is WMIX Sports, powered by Community First Bank. 94.1 FM worldwide tonight at WMIXSports.com. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo. 45-43 score as the Rams trail Effingham as we enter the fourth here on the road. It'll be Ram basketball to start. The Rams had a possibility of a final shot, then they turned it over inside. And in Effingham's Landon Wolf goes for the layup. Now Creel a three. Good. Jackson Creel another triple. It's a medicine shot three-pointer. Another $5 back to Ram Athletics. And the Rams in business up 46-45. Yeah, we may just shoot them out of this 3-2 zone. Five for six from three. It's about time for the Rams in the second half so far. With it up top for the Effingham. Now Parker Wolf Ow. from Thompson. We'll have a quick hand check. And that'll be a foul on the Mountford and Rams. That's an NBA play where the guy throws his head back and acts like there's contact, and there really wasn't. Called the foul on Lucas, 14 foul for the Rams, matching four for Effingham. 7.34 to go in the fourth quarter, 46-45. Effingham with the basketball, they trail by one. And now, I thought they were going to go three there off the left wing, now it'll be Parker Wolf. Good defense by Lucas Cooper, turning him over. They're still in the 3-2 zone. I'm a little surprised they haven't come out of that yet with Mount Vernon shooting the ball as well as they have. Mount Vernon can be a little bit patient here. There's the open spot that I was talking about, the high post. Good skip. Good job by Simmons getting the offensive rebound and saving. Ah, not there. The Rams tried to force feed the post again. They turn it over into the front court. Parker Wolf looks back door to Tate Nieberger. He wanted to foul and one, instead kicks it out. It'll be Landon Wolf on a drive, up good, and it's 47 46. The Hearts are back on top. Yeah, he's tough. When he gets the ball in the middle, he's strong. And once again, I thought a pretty good job by Simmons on the defensive end. Wolf just a little bit better offensively. Three for Creel is good. He has the hot hand. Four or five, six, I don't even know. Threes in the game, I think five. Yep. 49-47. Got a little excited. Who would? I mean, they're knocking down some threes. Another quick three for them. We'll take that. Got to clean up the board, though. Parker Wolf, the rebound. Jackson Creel responsible for $25 from the medicine shop tonight. As a jumper coming at the free throw line for Parker Wolf, he has 11. We're tied at 49. Hopefully they don't know this. They're 8 for 8 from two-point range. One for eight from three-point range here in the second half. Jackson Creel left wing with the basketball. Banking at the speed of you. Community First Bank invites you to the sixth annual blessing of the farmer March 2nd at 8 a.m. at the Ina Community Building. Jump stop and a hand switch by Hunter Simmons inside. Can't get it. Rebound Effingham. Now Landon Wolf to the basket. He'll travel, but there will be a foul probably. Yeah, call a foul on Simmons, I believe. When Simmons gets the ball in the middle there, he's got to go up strong. He just kind of flipped it up with his left hand. They're finally getting the ball into the spot that I said was the weak spot for that zone, 3-2 in the middle. Simmons just needs to be a little bit stronger with the basketball at the rim. 5.43 to go in the fourth quarter. We're tied at 49. It'll be a lob into Landon Wolf near the scorer's table. He'll dribble drive now between the legs. Hands off to Parker Wolf. Trying to go inside. Ooh, nice move to the basket, but missed it. Rebound on Plinko to Creel. He'll race into the front court. Jackson looks to the right side. Cooper all alone for a three. Looks good it is. Wow. Another medicine shot three-pointer for the Mountford and Rams. Another $10 back. $5, pardon me, sorry. Black family. Another $5 back to Ram Athletics. Well, give them 10. Why not? Neither 7 for 9 in the second half from 3. All those being Coop and Jackson Creel on pardon. fire. They only give them 2? No, that was a 3. You're right. They only gave them 2 on the scoreboard. That's now a turnaround spin. It'll be up top thrown to Thompson from Wolf. Huh, I don't get that. He was well behind the line. As now with it up top is Thompson. Looking around to the left corner, Parker Wolf drives baseline, picks up his dribble, lobs it back to Thompson on the left wing. 
Inside Thompson looks to Tate Niebricke. Right wing, Drew Thompson, 438 mark of the fourth quarter. Video streaming presented by Rinlake College. Log on to rlc.edu. See how you can save thousands. A three is good from Parker Wolf. They have 52-51 on the board. We thought that was a three from Cooper. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll have to go with what they have on the board. Good stress there. The middle wide open again. Jump ball. What? That's either no call or a foul. One of the two. I don't know how you get a jump ball out of that. All right. Mount Vernon's eighth turnover here in the second half. Down one. 4-11 left to go in the fourth quarter. 52-51 score. With it up top, now looking left wing. Back to the left corner now for Wolf. Landon Wolf back to the top for Drew Thompson. 357 mark of the fourth quarter. Scoreboard updates all season long. Sponsored by Tony Wilt, your state farm agent at Mount Vernon. Find him online, TonyWilt.com. Look for the white state farm Jeep around town. 51-37, Lady Rams stumble tonight. Their season comes to a close at the Benton Regional. 52-51 here, allegedly. Effingham on top. It was a Cooper shot that we thought was a three to give the Rams a 52-49 lead. Apparently only a two, even though hands, I thought, went up. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Landon Wolf doing a good job here in the defensive set. That's, That's just hard to stop. Landon Wolf drives from the left wing off dribble. He gets two more, and now the Effingham lead, 54-51, with 3.18 left to go. He's tough. I mean, he gets the ball in the lane. He can use his body to ward off the defender. Once again, Simmons doing a good job defensively. Quick three from Creel. He missed, missed that one. Misses that. Effingham, the rebound going the other way. Parker Wolf into the front court. Look for them to be a little bit more patient now on the offensive end. They're not going to go into an all-out stall, but they're only going to take something going to the rim. I'd be surprised if anybody but Landon or Parker Wolf take a three at this point. Off of the right wing, and now we'll have a foul on Creel as Parker Wolf on a dribble ran right into him, and now that'll be a foul on the Rams with 2.45 left to go in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he tried to jump that dribble handoff. Jackson, the, end, the one that jumped it, just didn't quite get there in time. Picked up the foul. Mount Vernon six. They'll be shooting one in bonus from here on out. Inbound will be side of the bounds on the far sideline. Landon Wolf works into the backcourt for Parker Wolf. Now back to Landon on the right wing. To a Thompson. That's Drew Thompson right of the circle. Left handable Wolf between the circles. Left wing and a handoff. Parker Wolf now to Landon sideline. Three on the way. No good. Tate Niebergy reverse uh, layup on the rebound. Terrible shot by Wolf. It's cleaned up on the opposite side on that air ball. For the layup. Cooper out of the right corner. Bounce pass to Kwani Rudd. He'll try to drive. Gets inside looking for the foul and one. He hey. got it. And the shot. Beautiful move by Kwani. Like to see him aggressive there. He took the ball to the rim. Was convicted to get in there. Got fouled. Oh, Vernon with the free throw here. Can be back within two points with 2.15 to go. Don't let your knee or hip pain keep you from doing the things you enjoy. Crossroads Community Hospital's bone and joint team is here to help. Schedule your appointment by calling 731-5681 or visit CrossroadsHospital.com. Get Carson Pro back into the game for Simon Wilson. A little bit of defense-offense substitution there. Second free throw, no, or only free throw, no good on the end one. Rebound chased down by Landon Wolf. 56-53. It's a one-possession ball game. Effingham on top. 2.07 left to go in the fourth quarter. Left of the circle for Thompson. Mount Vernon's going 2-3 gap zone where they get out and trap everything high and on the wings. If Stoneburner gets the basketball, I would go in and get a quick foul. I don't know that he's actually going to be the one to be handling the ball very much, but if he does, I would foul him immediately. Community First Bank of the Heartland is banking at the speed of you. Malford and Dix Woodlawn and Ina. Rams missed a chance there. Now it's a pass to the right sideline. Wolf. Near sideline for Drew Thompson, and lucky that's not an intentional foul yeah. as Weston Brockhouse stumbled trying to foul Thompson. Yeah, you're right. He stumbled and then kind of pushed into him. I've got to be honest with you. I'm surprised he didn't call an intentional foul just from the call he made earlier on the jump call. He did not. It was the correct call, one and bonus for Effingham. Wilson will check in for Carson Pro. For the Rams, Creel, Wilson, Cooper, Rudd, and Brockhouse. With a minute 33 left to go in regulation, it's 56-53 Effingham at the free throw line. This Drew Thompson. First free throw is good. He'll have another. 
Yeah, he looked pretty smooth there. Him and the Wolves are probably three of the people you do not want to foul, but like I said, they're going to be smart. They're going to keep it out of their poor free throw shooter's hands and make you foul their good ones. Second one rims out, 57-53. The Hearts are up one, Rams with the basketball. Into the front court, Jackson Creel to the right sideline. Wilson back to Creel near the top. Looks left side, Cooper. Nice head fake, he'll drive baseline, kicks wide open Wilson. Wilson now steps in to be on the arc. Gets it back from Creel after a quick pass. Looking nice for the bounce pass. pass to Kwani. Almost stolen away, goes to the hole, and he's fouled. Couldn't get a good look, but Kwani will go to the free throw line to shoot two and try to cut this in half. Yeah, good pass by Wilson, a drop bounce pass to Kwani going to the rim. Two big free throws here. Needs to get a little arch on this. The last one is a little bit flat, as was that one. First free throw, no good. He'll have another. 57-53. Effingham on top with a minute 13 left to go on the fourth. First time these two teams met, it was in Salem, and it went the way of the Flaming Hearts. Leak and Harkins checking into the game. Mount Vernon's going to go cover full court man, get into a quick trap. If they break that trap and get into the half court, look for Mount Vernon to look the foul at that point. Second free throw, good. So one and two for Kwani. 57-54. Effingham breaks the press into the front court. Landon Wolf to the outside for Parker Wolf. We'll have a foul on Harkins as Wolf was trying to race by left side. With a minute five to go in the fourth, Parker Wolf to the free throw line to shoot one and one. Yeah, he needed to get the foul there. Maybe a hair early with a minute five down three, but not a bad job there by Harkins. Reaching in, getting the foul once they broke the pressure. Banking at the speed of you. Community First Bank has a new website coming soon. CFBH.Bank with all the latest and greatest technological advancements. That's the first free throw is good by Wolf. He'll have another. The Wolf boys having a pretty good night. They've combined for 41. They combined for 28 the last time out against the Rams. Yeah, they've been a key to the game, obviously. Big part of that being Landon at 26 points right now. Like I said, we need to try to hold him to 15 to 20. Unfortunately, he's gone above that here at this point. Second free throw, good. Well, it makes it interesting. It's 59-54. The lead is five for Effingham. Rams need a bucket. They're into the front court. Cooper from afar. Looks for the pass up top to Wilson. Grip three on the way. No good. Rattles off. Rebound. They'll fight for it. Rudd comes up with it. Puts it up and in, but a foul. Yeah. I didn't think they were going to call it, but it probably was a foul on the rebound on Kwani. Got a little bit of the arm of Landon Wolf. They're going to go the other way. That's the ninth team foul for the Rams. Still one in bonus for the Effingham Flaming Hearts. Two big free throws coming here. Wolf at the free throw line. Trying to stretch this possibly to three possessions if he can make two. He makes the first, so he'll have another. Yeah, he's been tough. Knew he would be. He's a good basketball player. Like you said earlier, he's been doing it for a long time. Hard to believe he's still playing here. Free throw. Missed there that one. Go. Rebound to the Rams. Still a two-possession game, 60-54. Cooper into the front court for Mount Vernon. At the volleyball line, looks to the right side. Creel sidesteps the defender. Gives up top. Now they'll look left wing for Cooper for a three. Good. Time out on the floor, and the Rams cut it in half. It's 60-57, to 57, and Luke Cooper makes a massive three-pointer. He has 16 on the night. Yeah, huge three by Coop, keeping it a one-possession game. He's been hot here in the second half, really, for the game from three. Mount Vernon's still got time, 39.9. Full court man pressure look here. Cover pressure, switch every screen. Once the ball gets in, get a good quick trap. If they break the pressure into the half court, get a foul quickly. Don't have a lot of time to mess around once they break the trap. This timeout sponsored by First Mid Bank and Trust in the corner of 34th and Broadway in Mount Vernon. See Dwayne Gully for all of your home loan needs. He can answer any questions you may have, walk you through the loan process, and get you moving quickly. First Mid is an equal housing lender. Mount Vernon substitute Harkins and Leak into the game for that very reason. To get into full court, half court trap. Actually, it looks like Mount Vernon setting up into a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one trap with Kwani Rod at the point. He needs to force this basketball to one side or the other, have them catch it deep towards the sideline, get a good hard trap there. See if he can't get a quick steal out of this. If not, 
You'll need to pick up a foul once they break it into the half court. 60-57, Rams down three, 39.9 seconds to go. With the basketball linked to the floor of the Effingham Hearts, inbounding will be Drew Thompson. Rams will try to defend with less than 40 seconds to play. Thompson looking for the inbound right side, finds Landon Wolf. He walked. But he's fouled. And then yeah. the free throw line to shoot two will go Landon Wolf. I don't know. It looked like he might have walked before the foul, but they called the foul on Harkins on the reach. Good job by the Rams, almost forcing a turnover there. Now you got Landon Wolf. He's got the double bonus coming to free throws. 37.9 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter, 60 57 score. Rams are down three with Landon Wolf at the free throw line, trying to stretch it to five. He'll have two. It's double bonus time. First free throw is good. Not that Mal Vernon had a choice, but probably not the guy you want at the free throw line. But when you're down in time here with just 37 seconds to go, can't be uh, too patient to foul the right guy at this point. So we'll await the second free throw. 37.9 seconds left to go, 61-57. Make it 62. He makes both. Don't necessarily need a three here. A quick two will do, and a quick timeout. Rams into the corner for Cooper. He'll try to drive. Nope, try to outlet a pass. Stolen away by Effingham. They'll foul Wolf again. And Wolf will go to the free throw line to try to ice this one with 28 and a half seconds left. Yeah, that was a good job by Wolf getting in there on that passing lane. Mount Vernon does that a lot where they drive baseline. Look to skip to the opposite baseline for a three. He read that, was able to pick it off. Two free throws now coming for him with a five-point lead. If he makes both of these, Mount Vernon's got a pretty tough task ahead of him. 28 and a half seconds left. The free throw is good. That puts him at the 30-point mark. I'm sure that's not the first time and very likely not the last that he had 30 points in the game. A tough basketball player. Wolf will have another free throw. That one's good as well. It's a three-possession game. And it would appear as if the Rams are going to fall on the road tonight in Effingham. Yeah, they've done a good job from the free throw line. Give them credit, 10 for 11 here in the second half. With it up top is Creel looking for Brockhouse. Three on the way is no good with 20 seconds left. Effingham the rebound, a Ram foul. That should do it, unfortunately, for the Rams. Pretty good effort, though, to be honest with you, by the Rams. They run into a pretty hot shooting team tonight in the Effingham Flaming Hearts and a really standout performance by Landon Wolf, putting 31 on the board tonight. And his brother coming up with 16 as well. At the free throw line is Tate Nieberger. He'll make the first. He has another 65-57. The lead is eight. Second one's good. 66-57. Like I said, they've iced this thing at the free throw line. 12 for 13 here in the second half. Most of those here in the late going. 18.3 seconds left. Rams with the basketball. Creel a three try. No good. Rebound tipped. It'll be off the backboard. Pro the rebound here. Trying to get it to the outside. Now up top for a three for Simon Wilson. He knocks it down. Aesthetic as it may be at 66-60. And that's probably how this one's going to end. That is how it ends. Final score in Effingham. The Hearts 66, your mouth for the Rams 60. We'll come back with your Schmidt from the Lake Cadillac postgame show. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. F-Series pickups have been America's best-selling truck for 40 years. Hi, Roy Schmidt at Ford Square, Mount Vernon. The pickup that altered the truck landscape powers ahead once again with best-in-class, a max towing capacity of 13,200 pounds, estimated highway fuel economy of 26 miles per gallon, and a maximum payload of 3,270 pounds on F-150. Plus, first-in-class features like high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body, a 360-degree camera with tilt display, and a remote tailgate release. Not to mention the class exclusive features like active park assist, pro trailer backup assist, 
stowable loading ramps, and tailgate stuff. If you need a truck that can handle anything you throw at it, you need the Ford F-150. Right now, qualified buyers will save up to $9,000 off of a new 18 F-150 4x4 Crew Cab XLT. Drive yours right here at Ford Square Mount Vernon, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. And online at FordSquare.com. Emergencies can happen anytime, anywhere. That's why for every... Look, Mom, no hands! For every... Ah, uh, who needs a ladder? And even for every... Sue, my chest hurts. Crossroads Community Hospital is here for you. With skilled physicians, experienced nurses, advanced medical technology, and the compassionate care you deserve. Choose emergency care you can trust. Hey, guys, watch this. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Soar into a new industry or make strides in your current one with a drone certificate from Rin Lake College. This innovative program offers top-notch instruction to flight unmanned aircraft systems in many industries, including agriculture, criminal justice, videography, and more. Just three classes taken two nights a week can get you in the air and prepare to become a certified drone pilot through the FAA. For more info, call 618-437-5321, extension 1261, or visit rlc.edu. Rin Lake College, your journey starts here. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Together Lake Cadillac Post Game Show starts now. 94.1 FM Worldwide, WMIXSports.com. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo. The Rams come up short on the road tonight, 66 to 60. The Effingham Flaming Hearts are victorious. The Hearts improved to 14 and 12. The Rams, Tom Porter, dropped to 14 and 10, and I think. All things considered, probably a better performance than some could have imagined. I mean, you come off a tough loss, you're on the road. Again, we talk about not having a leading scorer. And in all reality, the Rams played fairly well. Yeah, I thought they played actually a pretty darn good basketball game. They just ran into a very hot shooting Effingham Flaming Hearts team tonight. And we'll get into the stats here in a minute, but if you look at the stats for Mount Vernon, the percentages they shot from two and three, you really expect them to come out with a victory just by looking at the numbers alone. So... Pretty good, well-played basketball game, obviously, by both teams. They just had the X-Factor and Landon Wolf, and he was able to put them over the top. An X-Factor indeed. So the Rams fall tonight, 66-60. This is your Schmidt for Lake Cadillac postgame show. We'll take a break, come back, get your scoring and stats. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. We all want to live healthy, active lives, and we don't want to rely on others to do so. We want to live as independent as possible. At TMS Mobility in Mount Vernon, we specialize in helping our patients do just that. Our customers love the home stair lifts that we install and service. Others love the power recliners with seat lift and even sleep in them. Still, others love the freedom that their power wheelchair provides them. Did I mention it can fit in the trunk? We are located at 2339 Broadway under the same roof as the medicine shop. Put our reputation to the test, 242-8776. The old saying goes, nothing beats free. Hi, this is Becky Connor at People's National Bank. At People's National Bank, we agree. Our free checking account is just that, free. You get free paper statements, your first box of checks are free, unlimited check writing plus free access to over 33,000 ATMs nationwide with our Money Pass network. If you like free, and we think you do, stop by People's National Bank today and open your free checking account with only $100. People's National Bank, proudly serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC. If you're looking for a new doctor, look no further than the new SSM Health Provider Finder. Search for physicians online based on conditions and treatments, name spellings and pronunciations, and locations near you. What's more, SSM Health doctors are known for taking the time to listen and connect with you. We call this the healing power of presence. You'll find this helpful tool at ssmhealth.com slash doctors. Follow us on social media at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball. 94.1 FM worldwide, WMIXSports.com. Chris, you go Tom Porter alongside for the Schmidt Chevrolet Lake Cadillac postgame show. Rams fall on the road tonight, 66-60 Effingham. Tom, easy to be disappointed with a night like this, but I don't think once we see some of the stats, there will be too much disappointment, especially in three-point shooting for the Rams. No, that's exactly right. First for two-point range, they were 11 for 17 for the game. 65% from three-point range, this is a big turnaround for the Rams where they've been struggling. They were 12 for 25, 48%. A lot of those by Lucas Cooper and Jackson Creel in the second half. So like I said, those two stats alone, look like you have a chance to win the basketball game. The difference, though, is we were just two for five from the free throw line. Very low number there. 
40%. And the other stat that was a little bit difficult is we had 16 turnovers for the game. For Effingham, they were 14 for 25, equally hot, 56%. They cooled down from three-point range a little bit in the second half. They were 8 for 20 for the game, 40%. But this key stat for them is they were 14 for 15 from the free-throw line, outscoring Mount Vernon by 12 points, and Mount Vernon losing by 6, 93%. And they had 11 turnovers for the game. Individual scores in this one. First for the Mount Vernon Rams at a team high. 19 from Jackson Creel. 16 from Lucas Cooper. 12 from Weston Brockhouse. 6 from Simon Wilson. 2 each. Actually 3 from Kwani Rudd. And then 2 each from Carson Pro and Hunter Simmons. 31 points was a game high for Effingham. Parker Wolf had 16. So the Wolf boys combined for 47. That was Landon Wolf had 31. 7 points for Drew Thompson. Four points for Tate Niebergy, three from Nate Thompson, and two from Jacob Stoneburner. Gives us our final score, 66-60, to as your Rams fall here on the road. Rams drop to 14-10. and 10. Effingham improves to 14-12. and 12. We'll talk more about it coming up on the schmidt River Lake Cadillac postgame show. Come back, wrap it up, give you some final thoughts on our three stars of the game. This is Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Everybody knows Joe's Pizza is the perfect way to feed the family for dinner because they deliver, right? Well, listen up. Now, Joe's Pizza, your choice for the best tasting pizza, pasta, and salads, also delivers for lunch. Just check out Joe's menu online at orderjoes.com and watch the people's choice roll right up to your door with lunch or dinner. Nobody does it better. Joe's Pizza at 819 Jordan in Mount Vernon. Enjoy! When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit crossroadscommunityhospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. There's big savings this month at the all-new Munkin' Toyota Buick GMC in Mount Vernon. Come look at a brand-new 2018 GMC Sierra four-wheel drive crew cab SLT loaded with equipment, MSRP $52,795. Save over $10,000 at $42,500 plus tax. There's thousands of dollars in savings on every new Toyota Buick GMC in stock, most with 0%. Come see us. Munkin' Toyota Buick GMC, Mount Vernon. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. 94.1 FM worldwide, WMIXSports.com. Tom Porter alongside. I'm Chris Hugo. Tom, for the Mount Vernon Rams, they lose 66-60. to we still have three stars of the game, however. Who are they? The number three star I'm going to give to Landon Wolf, obviously. 31 points on the night. He was definitely the X factor in this basketball game. Pretty evenly played basketball game with the exception of him. He kind of went off, obviously, and he's a tough matchup. For the Rams, the number two star goes to Lucas Cooper. I thought he had a kind of a breakout game tonight with three-point shooting for sure, and he did a nice job like he always does on the defensive end, so good job by Lucas. The number one star I'm going to give to Jackson Creel. He had 19 points but made a lot of big threes in the second half when Mount Vernon really shot the heck out of it from three-point range in the second half and really kept themselves in this basketball game. So, you know, like I said, the stats bear out, you know, that we lost the game by the score, but you look at the Mount Vernon shooting stats and you think we might have won. The only difference being is they outscored us by 12 points from the free throw line and the difference of the game being six. So they made their free throws when it counted, and they were able to finish the game off from the free throw line late in the game. Well, for the – got distracted by <laughs> Yeah, I'm watching them too. <laughs> I watched them play volleyball. Oh, man. pretty good. All kinds of distractions here at Effingham, but the thing to remember is the Rams fall here on the road tonight. They return home Friday night to Shagnon and have to have a short memory. Yep. I think, you know, coming off to tonight, I don't think – Coach Creel's going to be that disappointed. I mean, you're disappointed you'd lose the basketball game, but I thought the Rams played a pretty good basketball game here on the road. So hopefully we'll get a lot of people out for blackout night Friday night at you know, Mount Vernon and have a tough conference foe. Obviously the leader in the conference right now in Belleville-Altoff, and Mount Vernon's going to need a big effort. 
come out of that one as a victory and stay alive in the South 7. It'll be Friday night at home, 6.15 JV start. The JV's still undefeated on the year. Come out and get some of Marvo's popcorn. And uh, if you can't make it, you can listen to us right here at 94.1 FM or watch it live at WMIXSports.com. For Tom Portner, for Jeff Crow, for Connor McDaniel, for all of us at WMIX Sports, I'm Chris Hugo. Final score in Effingham tonight. The Mountford and Rams fall 66-60 to the Effingham Hearts. So long.